Hey guys, hope you're well. So today I want to show you how you can download this uh, Rotor Flight uh, Lua script, which basically means that you could make changes to um, your Nexus XR and your Rotor Flight settings directly from your transmitter, um, your TX16S or, or any other transmitter um, that you have with Radio Master. So basically you could um, take your laptop to the field and you can make changes by plugging in your um, Nexus XR to your laptop and, and do changes there if you're doing any kind of fine tuning to your uh, flying. However, it's it's a bit annoying having to take a laptop with you and drag it to the field and, and having to do this on the field. It's a lot nicer to just be able to do that directly from your transmitter. Now, you can't do everything. Um, you still do need um, the laptop, but at least once um, everything's fine tuned and everything's ready, if you do want to make some changes here and there, you can do it with your uh, with your transmitter, which makes life a lot easier. So it's really really simple. I've already got my um, my transmitter uh, TX16S. Um, I've got that link to my um, my computer, as you can see there. So link there, and it's all linked. And then, as you can see here, I have um, I have it open. So this is, as you can see on my screen there, this is basically my transmitter. And if you go to scripts, you can see there's scripts there. But the first thing you need to do is you need to go to this um, URL, uh, which I'm going to put on there, but you can see it up here. And basically, all you do is you click and you say download zip so we'll do that now that will take a few seconds to download okay and it will go into your downloads folder so if i go to downloads and i refresh it's there and then you need to right click and say um sorry right click and there should be an extract all down here so you need to extract everything so we'll say extract Okay, so now that will um, extract it. So again, back in downloads, now you have it there. So you can open that, open that folder, go to SRC, which is scripts, go into your scripts folder, and basically copy these three folders. So right click, copy, or do control C on your um, keyboard. And then you go into your folder here and you literally paste them. Don't delete anything from here. Just literally paste it straight in. Um, I'm not going to paste it because already I have everything in there. Um, and that's all you do. And then once it's in there, that's basically done. Um, and that's all you need to do in terms of the actual um, computer side of things. Okay, so the next thing you now need to do is you need to unplug this. Okay, and if you go to Sys, you should now see Rotor Flight 2. Um, once you click on it, it will then say compiling and it will take a few seconds to compile. And then once it's compiled, you can then click on it um, and you could go into it. But if I try and click on it now, I'm not actually connected to any models. If I go here, you can see I have um, no connections there. So there's nothing there connected. Um, so if I try and click on it now, this if I try to click on it it will just say waiting for connection because you need to be connected to a model so you have to have your Nexus XR connected to a model first before you can do anything so I'm just gonna grab my model and connect it so now I have my Align TB40 connected you can see the helicopter there okay and you can see I see it's all connected you can see I've got connection there so now if I click on Sys and I go and click on Rotor Flight, that then loads everything. And here is where you can make some nice um, changes. So for example, I could go to um, I could go to the mixer. Okay, and I could see some settings there. Um, so things like my collective trim, if I needed to adjust that. I could see my uh, center trim for the tail, etc. So I could see some stuff in here. 
Okay, I could go back, I could go to um, profiles. And again here, um, I could see my different rates. So I could see that my flight mode two is on 80% max throttle. Flight mode one is on 75% and flight mode three is on 85%. So again, I could change that directly in here. I don't need to basically have, um, you know, my laptop with me. I could do these changes here. But one thing to note is that if you do make a change, so if I go into here and I reduce that to 75, okay, I have to make sure I save it. So if I don't save it and I click back, then I go back to my profiles. It's gone back to 75. So, uh, sorry, back to 85. So to save it, you could click on there, go down to 65, for example. And then what you have to do is you have to click twice on that Sys button. Okay, so clicking twice, you get that. Now if I click save, okay, now that's saved it. Okay, so I'm on um, 45 there. Now if I click out, click back in, I'm on max throttle 45%. So it saved it. Now, if I go back, obviously I want that to be 85%. So again, click there, double click, save, and now that's saved. So you could see by me just um, flicking that button. Okay, that's now changed to 80. If I flick that button again, flight mode one, that goes down to 75. So basically, I'm uh, not gonna go through everything. Um, guys, feel free to sort of go in and play around. For example, go into the servos, you could see like your center points um, for each servo, etc. You could go in and you could make changes and you could see where my center points are, etc. So you could do all this sort of stuff. Um, from your transmitter and you don't need to go and have a laptop in the field with you, which is really, really, really useful. So that's basically how you do it. Um, nice and easy for you. Definitely worth doing it if you're using rotor flight because it just makes life so much easier. Okay guys, thanks for watching and hope you learned something new.